Oh, wait, that. hold on. Is Damien coming in? Damien's coming in with an army of used fans. There's yeah. The guys, you ran it Rock and roll, square. baby. I know these guys have to be so stoked. I actually think Caduce is outside right now with, like, the biggest used fan of them all. Caduce, what's going on, man? That's right, Hill. I'm here with Elise. And how far did you travel to see the used today? I only came from Long Island today, but I'm the biggest used fan. I've seen them four times. They're, they're amazing. I just love them so much. I'm uh, so excited to be here. Well, since you're such a big used fan, I'm going to hook you up today. You know the used is going to perform later in the show. And you know the pre-show uh, warm-up is really the most sacred moments of a band. So I'm going to let you into the inner circle here. We're going to come into the green room. What's up, fellas? <laughs> Some of them doing push-ups here. Is it alright if Elise comes and hangs out with yeah, you guys? Oh, yes. you guys get ready. Cool, just don't eat up all their cheese and crackers, alright? I'm always looking for that. Alright, we're gonna head to a video right now while she hangs out with the fellas of the used. Let's get into it right now. Now it is time to introduce you to today's spanking new band. I'm so... I can't put it into words. Let's just bring them out. Ladies and gentlemen, the you. Welcome to TRL, guys. What up? How are you, Bert? Thanks for having us, man. Yeah, How are you guys thanks. feeling? Is this cool? Yeah, it's we're exciting. excited. We all know, we all know you, Bert. Of course, we saw you in the Osbournes. How about you guys go around and introduce yourselves and tell us what instrument you play? Maybe I your favorite am, color or something. Uh, my name is Quinn. I play guitar. My favorite color is aqua. Nice. In, and yourself? Hi, my name is Jeff, and my favorite color is. Well, what do you play? Bass. bass. That's my favorite color. Right. Now everyone knows. My favorite color course, is I'm bass. Brandon. I'm the drummer of the U's. Dude, you are you are a great drummer. Don't just say you're a drummer. You are an amazing you, on that album. Absolutely sick. So uh, with your debut album, of course, it's been out for a while. I, I bought it back in September and just fell in love with every single damn track on the Go CD. Down, yeah. Been supporting you guys a little bit here. Um, what what do you think it is that brought you to this point here in your lives? Because surely you've been together for a while. You I think it's just a, I think it's just good honest rock and, and people can get it I think that's how it's spread so quickly maybe how about one of the most exciting things that, that you maybe have heard or maybe has happened to you guys in the past year this is probably the craziest thing that's ever yeah. gonna happen to us just being here is amazing yeah just, we, would, we would have never thought you know that this is possible we're just four normal guys from Utah you know and from just Utah that's the funniest doing what we love and now we're on TRL playing in front of a bunch of people and it's awesome so. That's very cool. And, uh, and, and I, I went to one of your shows, actually, when you guys came to New York. I know you came to the Hammerstein Ballroom, played with H2O and Boxcar. And, I mean, all due respect to those bands, they are really good. I love all of them. But you guys just blew them completely out of the water. No lie. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Thank what, you very much. What That's is it cool. like? Because I heard you did a show in uh, Seattle and it got kind of crazy. Yeah. yeah, we played at the, uh, where was the Paramount, the Paramount Theater. Thing. And... Uh, third song into it kids are going so crazy the whole floor just like collapsed and they had to stop the show and move back the barricade like 30 feet it was pretty cool the though. floor fell out right yeah uh, nobody got hurt so it was totally rad but just, great you know. cool all right hillary's in the audience she's chilling and hill you got a question for the use i sure do i'm hanging out here with a big fan chris chris you have a question for the guys yeah, i do I have a question for Bert. I've seen you guys before, and I've seen you on the Osbournes. I just I want to know. you. Yeah, man. We met at the Vanderbilt. Look, are, do you really get along with the Osbournes, or what? What's the story? Um, yeah, we get along. That episode was shot about six months ago, and um, it's pretty tricky how they shoot that show. It's all how they edit it and stuff. That's a, probably the most I want to really talk about that show right here. <laughs> it's a magic cool. of cable television. It's about like, the you should music, believe anything. Baby. Absolutely. It's okay. all about the music, baby. All right, earlier on in the show, of course, we were hanging out with the crazy Use fans of Times Square. We could only hook a few up to bring them in here and, and check you guys out and perform and stuff, but we would like maybe you guys to head out there at Times Square, pass yeah, out some of your CDs. To. Is yeah, that that'd cool? Be great. Yeah, all right, yeah, awesome. Good. More with the Use coming up. They meet their huge Times Square following. That's bizarre. I'm taking your line. Yeah. Off their self titled debut album, in stores right now, performing, performing the taste of <laughs> it. Give it up for the youth. <laughs>
Spanking New Bands Week in full effect. That is the use right here. Make right along. The Taste of Earth. It's off the self-titled CD. The Use. Go pick it up. It's on sale at MTV.com. <laughs> I've never had that happen. Well, Nick Carter did it once. Awesome. All right. If you guys want to hear more of the Use music, make sure you turn into MTV2 Woo! right after Terry Hill. They're playing a half hour special set just for us. Yep. Now it's ready for our last time out. Just, Justin may just have to brace himself for another blow. Did J-Lo break his stride at number one? We'll find out. <laughs> That's right, no problem. Give it up for the U's. <laughs> play a whole set right here for us on MTV2. From their self-titled CD, The Used. <laughs> right now, here's The Used playing a box full of sharp objects. <laughs> Yeah, I never had 
four and then everyone count to four right back at me okay this is burying myself alive <laughs> one two three four False alarm, red flashing lights, but well, this time I'm going to watch myself die. You can make a game to play your game, let myself cry. Bury myself alive on the inside, so I can shut you out, let you go away for love.
you remember me from Warp Tour? Of course, man. Okay. How you doing? Um, good, good. How you doing? I'm very, very good. Good songs, by the way. <laughs> Thanks. Um, have to ask you some questions. Right. That's my uh, my job here. And the question about the band is: Was it easy coming out of Utah? Because it's a very conservative place. Yeah, it's not really easy. There's not a lot of support for rock bands in the yeah. first place. There's not a lot of places to play. Period. And like, I think we got lucky. We we uh. We had a really great guy help us out. His name's John Feldman. He sings for Goldfinger, and he he pretty much he pretty much got us got us to where we are now, and, and just set everything up up and, for us. So. And one more question: What's the the next single gonna be? The next single is "Buried Myself Alive." <laughs> okay, well that's so. good. I was hoping it was gonna be this one though. Maybe memories. And speaking of that song, you guys are gonna play that right now, correct? Ah. Give it up for the used everyone. Come on. <laughs> song you guys have never ever heard before in your whole lives. It's called The Taste of Ink. Is it right? Can you even hear me? Standing with your spotlight on me. Not enough to feed the hungry. I'm tired you're dead. Tell me for a while now in the sea of lonely. Taste of Ink is getting old. It's four o'clock and he stays dead.
Sin City I'll take you head Pick you up Keep you there So you Long as you're alive again Promise I will take you there Drink your dance and hide away Drink your dance and hide away so make sure you guys stick around. Don't move. Hey, what's going on? I'm hanging out here with the youth. Now you guys are getting ready to play Say Days Ago. Tell me a little bit what the song's about. The song Say Days Ago is about Crystal and that's what it's all about. All right. <laughs> now before you play the song, you're doing a backflip? Yeah, I guess they want me to do a backflip, so I'll do a backflip real quick. All right, take it away, man. Say Days Ago, the used.
hands in the air. Thursday. Thursday we have New Found Glory. Friday. Good Charlotte. And tomorrow. Simple, simple plan. plan. <laughs> Make sure you guys hang out. And until then, see ya.